So now I would uh, like to present you the new developed uh, fiber optic needles for interstitial and intraarticular therapy. These cannulas are so-called fiber optic cannulas because a laser catheter from plastic material is already inserted in the needle and the top of the catheter is placed right in the end of the needle. So for different uh, treatment options we developed uh, fiber optic needles with different lengths starting from 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 up to a maximum of 12 centimeters. A second development is uh, fiber optic needles with an additional three-way connector. That means we cannot only function um, a pathology maybe on the spine or in the joint, but we can also additionally inject directly in the fiber optic needles uh, maybe uh, uh, local anesthesia or different drugs for pain or maybe anti-inflammatory effects. You see that I switched on now the red laser and that the red laser is coming out of the end of the fiber optic needles. I will now demonstrate the three-way connector needle. I connect first the green laser you see the green light coming out of the top of the needle and in the next step I can inject through the fiber optic needle uh, another fluid, maybe local anesthesia or anything else what, what I want. I have now a patient with um, disc prolapse uh, in the area L5-S1. We, we have MRI pictures from him and also he was already in the clinic of the neurosurgeons but there was no indication for an operation. So because of the resistant pain we decided to give him uh, an interstitial treatment with the new developed Weber needle fiber optic cannulas. For local anesthesia first we apply a small dose of procaine which we can use as local anesthesia but has also an effect uh, on pain already. After local anesthesia with procaine we inject deeper close to the nerve um, an amount of about 5 to 10 ml sodium chloride which uh, brings more fluid uh, in the treatment area and leads to a better transmission of light in the depth of the tissue. So you see I have marked already the exact injection place. And in the first step now the, pa the patient gets the local anesthesia with procaine with a small 27 gauge needle. In contrast to CT uh, guided treatment, so in this case it is not necessary to use a computer tomogram or maybe x-ray because it's not necessary to place the needle directly on the nerve. If we are close to the nerve, maybe one or two centimeters, and we have a good amount of fluid uh, of our saline solution in place, then we have uh, enough radiation on the pathology area. The big difference to a treatment from outside is that the skin normally absorbs already 80% of the light and nobody knows how much light, or maybe if any, will reach the pathology in the depth of the tissue. That was one of the biggest problems of laser therapy in the past. But we are now able to bring any laser light of any color, infrared, red, green, blue or any other directly by the fiber optic needle to the origin of pain. So in the next step now after local anesthesia I will now insert the fiber optic needles. 
I pull the catheter in the needle a little bit back that it disappears from the top of the needle and now I go without any pain of the patient now close to the pathology I ask him several times if he has pain or not but uh, he's okay so now we have a penetration depth about four to five centimeters and the patient uh, is not very thick and has not big muscles so with four or five centimeters we are close enough to the disc prolapse area. I will now connect my laser and in the first step we give a red laser to improve the microcirculation in the area and also initiate a regenerating effect on the nerve tissue. Also we will have a spasmolytic effect of the red laser on the muscle and we can decrease the muscle tension which leads immediately after the treatment normally to a massive pain relief. So beside of the local anesthesia, this therapy is absolutely pain-free and free of any risk if the doctor is well educated uh, in anatomy. And also we can avoid to inject any drugs like diclofenac or ibuprofen. We only give a little bit procaine, saline solution, and a laser, so it's a very physiological therapy what we are applying here. So ask the patient now if he has pain, he says no, it's absolutely pain free. You see the patient is very quiet and the big advantage is of this therapy that normally already after the first treatment or maybe the next day the patient has a lot of uh, pain relief so it is much more effective than only treatment with maybe with warmth or maybe with uh, laser therapy or other methods from outside. We are direct now very close on the roots of the nerve and so we can treat with high efficacy disprolapse, spinal stenosis or facet syndromes.